you guys want to add follower goals, uh, recent donation messages, top donator, bets, subscriber count or goals, came in the right place. Well done guys, it's careful you. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Streamlabs labels and how to set up follower and subscriber goals. So in today's video guys, all we're going to be showing you to do is those various things. So if you guys do want to see more of these tutorials in the future, or other ones make sure to go ahead drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new feel free to follow me on twitch where i do games like fifa rocket league G that type of stuff so yeah um and also guys feel free to comment down below if you need any help with anything else need a bit more explaining or you want me to do a different video on say something like how i edit my videos in case you want to interpret that or how to set up an elgato software uh how to Set up microphone, audio, and all that. Just let me know, guys, because I'm, I'm always I'll be here. It helps. So yeah, without further ado, get into it. I'm going to show you the two methods of how to add in your follower goals and donations. Okay, so the first method I'm going to show you right now is um, follower goal and donation goal. So as you can see here, I'll just show you quickly again. Go to your sources, click add new source on Streamlabs OBS, and then as you can see here, you've got different ones. You've got your follower goal got your event list, description goal, uh, you've got a bit goal and a donation goal. Uh, donation goal is if you've got your PayPal link and bit goal, favor goal is if you have affiliate. But for now we're going to go follower goal since it's the most simplistic one, since everybody will be able to use this one uh, if they're not affiliate as well, so everyone can use this. So there you go, name it, follower goal, boom. Uh, you can give it a title if you want. So, there it's in sample goals. Follower goal. Then, whatever your starting amount is, is like how many followers you're at. So, say we're at like. Okay. The only thing is, this isn't really a follower count thing, but it's a follower goal. You give like the followers you're at before the stream. I would recommend doing it if your followers change a lot because see if it keeps going down then the start then it won't really change that much you want to really reach your follower goal basically if you know say somebody unfollowed basically uh it's just going to state the starting amount or the amount it was at so it won't change at all but if you're not getting that many followers or then i'd recommend doing it then n after date you can just put n It's an American. Wait, no, it's seven. So that was pretty easy. That one. Uh, you can change the visual settings as well, what it looks like. So you can change our color if you want. We can make blue or something like that. It looks like that. Uh, you can change the text color, the background color, bar text, the bar thickness. You can, you can change a lot of stuff. So that, that's a bit too much. And the fun family as well, if you want to change that. And I don't really do it in here. And there you go, done. There we go. And also, you can change it up if you want. You can make, you can resize and all that. And also, you can, I'm pretty sure, go back to properties. I'm pretty sure, see for the visual setting but uh, Sorry, I forgot I missed, I missed this one out. You can either put standard so it has that. Or you can put that right there. I forgot to save it, but it doesn't matter. You get the idea. So you can click done. And boom, that's that's what it looks like now. It's a bit more simpler. I think it looks better. There we go. Very easy for that one. The second method I'm going to show you is stream labels. Now, if you don't have it downloaded, all you got to do is go to your Streamlabs dashboard, sign into your Twitch account, uh, go to all widgets, go to stream labels, and then download it. Easy as that. Once you've done that, log back into Streamlabs OBS, and then you'll be able to open stream labels. Uh, I've already got it downloaded, so it's all good. So, as you can see, it gave you a quick example. It can show your all time top donator. Uh, you've got so many things. You've got top donators weekly, 30 days. You've got the top 10 uh, 
you can just there's so many things you can do uh, total donation amounts or how much you've made either in full uh seasonally monthly weekly all that stuff most recent donator i recommend doing stuff like that like your most recent most followers most recent donator most recent follower and all that and again you can have uh you can have goals as well so like you know how like uh, you have like people do like hype trains such as like sub trains follower trains basically it's like that so you get like a timer and then uh every time you get a new donation or follower it'll keep resetting but when the timer runs out it'll go back to the you know, stuff like that so as you can see there uh but yeah the main one i'm going to be showing you guys again is uh you can have total subscriber count and total follower count uh, most recent follower, all type of stuff. So we'll go total follower accounts. So as you can see, I've only got one. So, put that. Account. Go. And you can change a lot of stuff here. You can change the account. So count. You can change a lot of stuff with this one. There we go. Right, okay, that's not count. Uh, fuck. Built it right, come on. Try that again. So yeah, as you can see, you just want family, the font style, font size, and all that type of stuff. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. So the day I wanted once it loads up my laptop we got sick. The day I wanted that, we can change the font to that. Uh we could put in a bold or a bold italic, stuff like that. Font size, you can do whatever you want. I don't know what this is to be fair. Oh, I know what that is actually. So you can just have it like that, the start case, or you can have it all in uppercase, capital letters, or you can have it all in lower letters. I just go. Uh, and then your background color and all that. I wouldn't recommend changing it to be fair. Yeah, don't really change that unless you do want it to be like a bar. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend. Uh. With this, too. I don't know what that would do actually. Uh, text alignment, protocol alignment, all that type of stuff. And there we go, it's popping. <laughs> oh, wait, I need there it goes. So it's actually in the top left of the, my webcam. I actually doesn't look too bad there, but we're gonna move it so you guys can see it a lot better and a lot bigger. There we go, follower account one. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna show you today, guys. Obviously, you can change a lot of things like that. I was just giving you a very basic tutorial. So you guys get an idea of what you're doing so that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching hope you guys did enjoy and hope it, hopefully it was helpful for you a lot if it was then make sure to go ahead drop a like and subscribe to see more of these videos and turn on notifications follow me on twitch and for more and remember comment down below if you need any help on any of our tutorials yeah thank you guys for watching see you guys